Hi everybody. Uh, today we have an American Lock 700. Uh, I know I've demonstrated a couple of bypasses on this before, but uh, today we're going to actually try to pick it. Uh, here's the key. If we can get that to focus. Hopefully. There we go. Uh, you know, it works pretty much the way all of American Lock's products work. Has a ball bearing uh, latch mechanism. Now this is this one is not key retaining, but uh, it's not really going to affect the picking terribly much. So that should be solid enough. Let's clamp this up and see what we can do. Uh, we're going to use the thicker of the two Peterson pry bars uh, and we're going to use the long end to get past this armored face plate. There we go. And we're going to just apply very light tension and we're going to use one of Peterson's 18 hundredths uh, standard hooks. And we're just going to feel around and I think Pin number three seems to be the first binder. Get a couple of clicks out of it because they're serrated. Uh, pin four. And pin five. Move up towards the front. There's a couple of clicks from pin one. Oh, that was pin 2 actually that was setting. Now, something is not quite set. So let's see if we can find out what. Uh, everything 3 back feels pretty well set. So let's give one another push, okay, and there we go. Uh, now, this does have uh, two spool pins in it, but uh, for some reason, or rather because of the binding order, we seem to have been able to set the uh, we seem to have been able to set the spool pins before. Uh, we got into that false set. So let's see if we can get this guy open and we'll see what's actually inside of him there. And right, got a uh, flat. Got a uh, flat tipped screwdriver, and we're just gonna try to slide this guy off. So, this has this is one of the older uh, American lock cylinders from before uh, they adopted the master lock way of doing things. It's okay if we lock this back up, it's really just going to help us pry this C clip off. Uh, so, this does have all original. American lock parts. So uh, let's see, we're going to get pin five first. There's pin five. Oh no, that was uh, pin 4 actually. Pin 5 is still in there. There's pin 5. Pin 3. Pin 2 is a spool. Pin 1. There we go. 
think that's the right order. So, uh, let's take a look here. Hopefully you can make this out. What we have here are uh, serrated pins in positions 1, 3, and 5, and some serrated spool pins in positions 2 and 4. Uh, all of the key pins over a certain length are also serrated. And so that's the combination of the serrations, which are rather aggressive, and the uh, spool pins are really what uh, makes American uh, original American locks uh, pretty pick resistant. The fact that they're big heavy lumps of steel with these hardened steel uh, face plates covering the otherwise relatively soft brass body are what make them physically secure against uh, destructive entry techniques. So, uh, until next time, have fun and happy picking.